Greetings fellow civil engineer. Today I'll be discussing master's degrees and whether or not they're a good idea. Let me answer the main questions up front. Do you need a master's degree? No. Does it help? Yes. Is it right for you? Maybe. First, let's go over the advantages of a master's degree. If you obtain a master's degree, the state licensing board will count as one year towards your PE. Obtaining a professional engineer license is the most important short-term goal in a civil engineer's career, so this is a good one. If you obtain that PE in three years instead of four, it's an advantage. Also, it'll make you a stronger candidate for job openings. Many of these postings will say, bachelor's required, master's preferred, or something like that. Especially as a brand new engineer entering the job market, having a master's degree will help you stand out when applying for jobs. Companies have to invest time and effort into training brand new engineers, so the more you know entering the market, the more attractive you'll appear as a candidate. Another reason is networking. Attending graduate school means you'll get to meet and make friends with more up-and-coming engineers, especially if you're at a different school from your undergraduate. Networking is a powerful tool when landing jobs, and if you know someone who already works at a certain company, they can put in the good work for you. And of course, there's knowledge. With just a bachelor's degree, you get just the basics of many sub-disciplines within civil engineering. However, with a master's, you'll go more in depth with the sub-discipline of your choice. With better knowledge, you'll be better equipped to succeed when you finally join the workforce. And now the disadvantages. The most obvious disadvantage is cost. Of course, you have to pay tuition and fees, but that's not the costliest aspect of it. You also have to consider opportunity cost. That is, the money you would be making if you were in the workforce working full-time. For example, if you would be making $50,000 a year for the two years you spend in grad school, it's actually costing you an extra $100,000 on top of whatever you're paying. Also, you could be missing out on something just as valuable as salary, work experience. In college, you learn a ton of engineering theory, but it's not until you begin working full-time at an engineering firm do you start applying it all and learning how to use design programs, etc. So experience is just as valuable as money, and you could be losing out on it if you stay in school. Now, what factors can make you decide one way or the other? One is the job market. If you can't get a job, then at least graduate school gives you something productive to do while you're not in the workforce. I graduated in the middle of the Great Recession, and no joke, 90% of my classmates stuck around for a master's because there simply weren't any jobs for recent graduates. If you find yourself in that situation, graduate school is better than straight up unemployment. Another aspect is funding. Maybe you have some kind of scholarship, fellowship, etc., that will pay for graduate school. Maybe your employer offers tuition reimbursement and you can attend college part-time. Speaking of which, maybe you can enroll in an online master's program. These are getting more and more popular as a way for people to get their master's degrees without having to drop out of the workforce. Online education has grown in leaps and bounds in the past few years. And finally, it's not necessarily about money. Maybe master's degree is just a personal goal of yours. It doesn't always have to be about money. Many people find fulfillment in personal achievements in higher education. And there's nothing wrong with that. And now my story. I graduated with a bachelor's degree in civil back in 2010 and then served in the military for five years. When I got out, I snagged a job as a civil engineer and used the GI Bill to fund an online degree at Norwich University. Here I am at graduation. Does an online master's degree carry the same cachet as a traditional degree? Maybe not, but I took home 100000 in terms of salary during those 18 months of online school, so I have zero regrets. And that's all I have for today. If you have any questions about graduate school or civil engineering careers, feel free to drop me a line. Till then, take care.